of you who are just joining us, I'm Adrian Sullivan here in the booth with, Ar with Ari Lax. We're here in the final match of the Star City Games Memphis. We're live on the left, Anthony Fanuff playing Burn versus Zach Hicks on the right playing Mud, the Goblin Welder, Kaldatha Forge Master, um, Metalworker deck. Lots of artifacts, a little bit of red in it. Let's what are the red cards in here? Goblin Welder times Gamble. four. Gamble times two. Blood Moon times two. A dead card in this game for the most part. It can shut off a turn, uh, a, a game one barbarian ring. But it also shuts off, it can make you tap an Ancient Tomb for not mana, uh, for, for not, not damage. damage. Same with Hole of the Mandalord. Interesting point. So it's it's not much of a, um, it's not purely blank, but it's pretty, pretty weak. And those are the red cards in game one. In game two, he theoretically Has could have access moon. to another Blood Moon and a Chaos, and warp. A chaos warp. So, pretty brown. Pretty brown. That's not quite true mud, but it's mud. Be real. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, I think that being on the play game one, not a huge deal. Um, <laughs> It helps Zach Hicks probably a little more than the burn deck. It almost, er, it, it sort of like if Zach Hicks is on the play, it swings things for him more. He's on the play, but the burn decks, you know, perfectly fine play or draw, very similar lines. But post board, three sphere on the play is such such a beating as we witnessed in that last game. I, you know, I don't think I've seen a turn one Trinisphere in not vintage in uh, a very long time. Looks like we might have a uh, split sleeve here. Anthony's drawn his hand. Is uh, is that a mulligan from Zach potentially? Zach mulls the six. Zach is down to six cards right now. Yeah. Uh, do you think Zach actually just boards out this Hall of the Bandit Lord against this red deck? Ugh. I mean, giving your opponent a free lightning bolt, even if it does theoretically make plus one on the mana count, that well, seems really unfun. It gives him a. But you're giving him a mana bolt, a lightning bolt at the cost of. You get a metal worker a turn faster. You get a warm coil a turn faster into the red zone. Oh, so it's a hard call. It's a, yeah, I think you have to keep it in. Um, I think like, I, I think that just the possibility of that one play of warm coil of yes. metal worker, I think it's just too powerful to get rid of. He has three cards to board in. He might end up boarding it out. Uh, I could. Oh, Sundering Titan. Yeah, that's going out. <laughs> okay. Well, problem solved there. Three cards to board out. Two blood moons and a Sundering Titan. Uh, two spell I want skites. spell skites to come in. Yeah, two spell skites yeah. and a witchbane orb on the board. Yeah. I don't think you want pithing needle. I don't. I don't feel like that's very strong. Uh, it does stop on on earth on Hellspark if that's what you're looking for. But uh, we see a price of progress. of progress in Anthony's hand. Ancient Opening tomb. ancient tomb. Grim, Grim monolith. Three mana. Three mana makes metal worker. Metal, metal worker on turn one. But you better Zach kill it. Takes two damage to deal to do this. Bolt chain dead. There dead, you go. Very dead. <laughs> Two damage, yes. and the Grim Monolith is used up. I think I see a City of Traitors there. City of Traitors, Ancient Tomb. Oh, no, correctly. it's a double Ancient Tomb. Ooh, this is going to get very, very tight. But what can happen here, Zach off. might take, f well, let's see what he does. Four damage, Lodestone go. Second Mountain. Lowstone Golem. Zach kicks down to uh, down to 14 already. 14, and he hasn't even been burned yet. It's like he's a zoo deck. Yeah. Jeez. A zoo in modern, by the way. <laughs> Zach with three cards that have been previously banned and extended in play. <laughs> Rift, Rift Bolt is suspended by Anthony. He does have to pay one on the way back down for that. Zach looking if he wants to. Is that another Golem? Another Golem? Grim Ooh. Monolith goes to 12. It's not. It Three mana. Voltaic key? Voltaic key. Unta Voltaic Grim Monolith. Such an amazing combo. Such In for lodestone -ness. Brings me back to the days of these, these decks from like 2003 that were... Even earlier. You had, oh, yeah. you, you well, had that in 2000. Too. You had that in standard. Actually, you, you had, had that, that in block. 1999. Yeah, this was a block-constructed deck, by the way. That was, a, <laughs> that was a standard deck back in the day. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Rift Bolt on the upkeep on the Lodestone Golem, Flame Rift, Zach down to eight life. These Ancient Tombs have, let's see, that, the Ancient Tombs have done most of the damage so far. Zach draws, three, key, two, uh, down to one floating, 
Down to zero floating. Six mana. Passes the turn. Zach is Reaching so Reaching Mind Sleeve range. Zach is so close to dead here. Oh. This is reaching hard cast a blight steel colossus from my hand range. Grimlock Grim Mancer. Mancer. Flame, Flame Rift. Rift. Go Zach to four, to four, Zach. Dead to the price of progress in hand. But if if Zach has What is that? Worm coil engine. Says go, and I think he's dead. Dead. Zot 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 zot. <laughs> Zach doesn't even tap his own ancient tombs to do it himself. <laughs> Goes down the semi-honorable way. Okay, burn up a game. Could this be another burn victory? Could be. Could so be. one of the things that if you've been watching all day, you've been seeing a lot of awesome legacy action. There has been a number of decks that we've seen playing all day. And uh, one of the questions that we've been asking all day is a, not pardon me one of the things we've been doing all day is we've been giving away trivia um, trivia prizes the trivia prize for the finals say pass to gen con four day pass gen con this august 16th through 19th absolutely and uh it's an awesome event if you haven't gone uh there's gaming all kinds of gaming anything you could possibly want basically it's not just cards board games uh, there's like spontaneous uh, werewolf slash mafia, whatever you like right, to call right. games that break out in the hallways. And it's... besides that kind of werewolf slash mafia, there's probably also going to be the live action style werewolf for people that are into the role playing game stuff. A ah. different different game entirely. Yes. That's not my cup of tea. I'm more of a card slinger. I'll be playing Magic if I'm mm -hmm. at Gen Con this year. But what you can do is if you're one of the people out there who's able to answer the trivia question and uh, be one selected at random from amongst the correct answers. What I'm going to ask you, very, very simply, remember, tweet your answer to SCG Premium. We have seen, speaking of Commander earlier, a creature that is printed in Commander. See a lot of play this weekend. What creature that was printed in Commander has seen a lot of play in Legacy for this tournament? Very specifically, we're talking about it in this quarterfinals match of Junk versus Burn as a, as yeah. a way for the, the Junk deck to just sort of pull out of a, a run. Yeah, one of the other players that we were talking about earlier, he liked this creature so much, he actually cut down his Tarmogoyfs to fit more of them in. What creature are we talking yeah. about? Tweet your answers to the hashtag SCGPremium what creature from the commander set yeah. is making its debut, not its debut, it's making itself known as a yeah. player sort of, here sort in of, Legacy. Sort of grinding from a sideboard yeah. card to a main deck to just sort of a staple of the yeah. format. I think it's been really proven itself, yes. um, not just this weekend, but before this weekend yeah. as well. Just we've been talking about it all weekend. Now going back to the match at hand, we've got Tony, um, Tony Fanoff playing Burn on the left. His opponent, Zach Hicks, playing this mud deck on the right. I want to see another poison kill. That would be the, that would be the third one today. We saw one in uh, round three with Caleb Durr. We're getting poisoned out by Signal Pest Inkmall Nexus. Good old uh, standard block constructed style. But uh, we just saw one off a Blight Steel Colossus earlier. I think Anthony's sending his hand back. And also, please don't enter this contest if oh, you yeah. do not go Going to Gen Con. Going back to that, make sure that you can go to Gen Con. Please do not. Zach done. Zach down to five. Or Zach or Anthony down to five. Let's see. If you're just joining us, I'm Adrian Sullivan. I'm joined here in the booth by Ari Lax. And we're watching the final match between two players whittled down from a field all the way down for this championship match. Anthony Fanoff on the left playing Burn. Zach Hicks on the right playing Mud. Let's see. Looks like there's another mulligan. Uh, yeah. It's Zach most of four. Not I mean, a way you want to end the event. I wonder week, if but... this is going to be. I mean, this is this is really bad for Zach. I wonder if this is going to all be. All the bandit I'm, lord. <laughs> oh boy. I was gonna say. I wonder if this is going to be a all um, Gotham finals winners. We saw earlier this weekend. Oh, Anthony to four, not Zach. Oh, okay. Pardon me. Thank you. Anthony is at four. There okay. we go. 17 for Zach. This this might be a... Oh, is it going to be a metal worker that metal has worker? haste? It this, is. This, this might be a case of the old uh, Conley, the cracked fresh takes you on Collingwoods, though. Uh, we I don't see know you Great wanna, Furnace, Great Furnace, like Batter Skull. What else do we have there? Batter, well, okay, Batter Skull's coming into play. There were just enough artifacts. A lot going on there. He's still got mana floating that he can use. Doesn't have to burn anymore. I don't know what else I saw there. 
It's a 4-4 life-linking German play. A shattering spree would be pretty awesome from Anthony, but he's only got two cards. It's a lightning three. bolt. Three cards. Uh, that's a lightning bolt and a barbarian ring. And a chain lightning. That's the last one. So yeah. he's got two lands in play. Has to kill, has to kill the metal worker, but now he's going to start taking some damage from this batter skull. That kicks at uh, 14, I believe, if I can confirm off the, the chain lightning to the face and the, the hull of the bandit lord. Uh, what's that lava spike? Is that spike? lava spike? Wait a second. Okay. Lava spike. Try that you. again. There we go. You. To your face. Uh, oh boy, and it's. This looks like wah, Batter Skull's gonna wah. take it down. Metal Worker, Batter Skull. Yeah, Metal Worker. Why are you legal in this format again? Are you so legal? Is <laughs> hey, this, he's, this actually he's happening? fragile. He's a fragile creature. His feelings might get hurt. <laughs> it's okay. true. It's you true. Don't give him too much of a hard time. Two mana from City of Traders. Oh, another pain. Another free bolt for Anthony. This might be a Warm Coil engine. Oh, is this oh, a... <laughs> oh, boy. Is this just a Blight Steal on three? He is Blight Stealing for the kill with uh, all of the <laughs> Bandit Lord. And okay. that was a turn three hard cast haste Blight Steal Colossus. No, no, even... Or the Poison Kill. <laughs> That's right. If you can count that as a Poison Kill. Oh, look at this. Uh, Anthony does not look happy about that. Yeah, this is... This, that was a game. That, that just happened. We've seen turn one Trinisphere. We've seen turn two Hasted Blysil Colossus. This is kind of, this is kind of a vintage deck at times. Jeez. Okay, game three. Now with full hands. I don't, I don't think not walling to four would have helped there, you know. There's a good chance that he was just dead, regardless. Hall of the Bandit Lord, really? Okay, that one stays in for game three, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Keeping, and, putting a metal worker uh, uh, out immediately. I, I, I think, honestly, I have a feeling Anthony is going to win. Um, the reason I think Anthony is going to win, we saw yesterday, <laughs> uh, white weenie, blue one. It's, I, I think it's, look at that. But he's The twirling of the mustache is so villainous. <laughs> we, oh, I, I, I've got to root for him. I've got to root for him. I don't know. I don't know. Jeez. Whew. That was that was a that was one great game. I re that was awesome. I mean, think about just how rarely people have probably ever tapped a Hall of the Bandit Lord in a constructed tournament that is a high level essentially, you know, non-casual event. Yeah. There's thousands of dollars going around all off that hall. Uh, so, um, w yeah, Hall of the Bandit Lord is like this card. I was looking at it, I'm like, this does what I think it does. So I'm looking it up on Star City, I'm like, this is an EDH card. I know this because they're out of the foils. <laughs> and the foils are like ten times as much as the regular ones. <laughs> We're going to our final game here. Game three. We've had a lot of EDHS masks in all, or matches in all the formats. Not a Goblin Guide. Rift Bolt for Anthony on turn it's one. Protection against a Welder. There's turn an one. ancient tomb. Tomb. Lightning Greaves. Ooh. Okay. Almost a Hall of the Bandit Lord. Three to the face. Zach drops to 15. We see a repeat of game one where these... Uh... Ooh. Dropping to nine on turn two. Will we see a repeat where these uh... the Sanction Tomb does all the damage? It's been nine burn, two damage. Zach at nine life. Very possible he dies on turn three this game. Oh, he could just Metal Worker, drop a Warm Coil, equip the Lightning Greaves, and just immediately end this game. Oh, nothing. Oh boy, Flame Rift. Five life. Is that kick gonna get there this game? Does he have a Warm Coil or a Batter Skull to suit up with this uh, with this Lightning Greaves? A City of Traitors. Three. Does he have the Does he have the Blight Seal again? Ooh. He does not have three artifacts to Forge Master though. Does he what have does a he have? Uh, Grim Monolith? Would that do it? To Forge Master. Or to uh, Grim Lava Mancer, sorry, um, uh, Grim Monolith to Worm uh, Grim Coil. Monolith to Worm Coil to get out. Uh, Batter Skull. Batter Skull would be pretty good. Um, Batter I can't Skull see any of his put cards. Into five again. Batter Skull or Batter Skull put into seven. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, I can't see his cards. Uh, let's see. Metal Worker might do something. It looks like there's a Grim Monolith on top. I can't tell too much. Uh, there's, a, there's a Worm Coil. There is a Forge Master, I think. He might be no, there's a Warp Wall. He might be debating though if he wants <coughs> to go to three life. Uh, like, 
There's a possibility. The fire blast would kill him. A lightning bolt would kill him. He's debating if he wants to go metal worker and potentially lose to a lightning bolt on the metal worker, followed up by some other burn spells, or if he wants to not go to three life and not die to a lightning bolt. Or actually, grim monolith. Grim. Three. Going to three. Oh, right there. Does is is he Fearless. dead? Fearless. Worm coil. Is he dead? I don't think so. Equip. Equip. Attack. Nine life for Zach. Oh boy, he's still alive. Oh wow. Life link is very good against burn decks. Wow. That's too price oh, price. Boy. Those, that knocks damage. him to one. No, it doesn't. Zach gains six life on that swing. He's at nine I life. I know. It knocks him to one. There's price price. Oh, it, oh, that's true. I, I mean that it's too late now, I think, for Anthony. I, <laughs> I think, like, but he oh. had him down to one. Oh. If, if Zach taps his Ancient Tomb. Nope. Uh, that's probably this event right here. This Worm Coil attack is probably more than enough to settle it. Okay, go to one. Go to one. If he had tapped his ancient tomb first, man, he could have gotten ugly, but. Seven. You got no One is hand. seven, and I think that that's all she wrote. I don't Probably. think that there's an out. Anthony is uh, facing down. Even if he has the. Uh, even if he has a shattering spree, he's facing down. There we are. Yeah. And Zach Hicks wins. Star City Wow. Games oh, breaking the streak for Burn in the Star City yeah. Games Open Legacy Series. Burn um, comes right to the finals. And in this loses case, to another loses to another red, red deck. deck with a grand total of, I think, what, like uh, six or seven red spells. And it's but yeah, it's still six red. red. <laughs> yeah. 